shifts in Europe with um, with with refugees coming that in. That wasn't mentioned, by the way. That and was a big question. Okay, so here, here's, here's a question that I have for the mainstream Republicans and, and big R Republicans such as yourself, is that when you consider the controversy surrounding um, people from the Middle East with their values and cultures coming into the U.S., uh -huh. um, what if... What, what, what would the same critics of those concepts, um, why, why, why would those critics have a problem with bringing in more immigration from Latin America, for example, where a lot of those people are traditionally Judeo-Christian, Catholics, that are pro-life, that, um, that have a lot of... And just make sure he doesn't get hurt. Okay, I don't quite understand the question. You're saying Europeans have no problem bringing in Muslims, but why no, 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 should no, we what, have... A, what, I'm what sorry. I'm, what I'm saying is, is the people that, that have problems with, um, with Muslim immigration in the United States... <laughs> I think the issue is too much immigration, period. Arguably has more compatible values with the West um, as far as human rights go, for example, than, uh, than a lot of uh, Muslim countries. I mean, they're Catholic. Because they're Catholic. I mean, they're Christian. They're what's, the, what's the question? So the question is, is people who are concerned about what they call demographic suicide in the West, in, in, in the United States, for example, with uh, Muslim immigration coming in, couldn't they cancel that out with more Latin American immigration coming in with with Catholic values and, uh, and, and Judeo-Christian values? No, because we're seeing... You're asking my answer for yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, okay, I, I don't want to presume. I've, I, that's why I've yeah, that's so a good one. to ask you this question. I want to ask it to you in person. No, because what, the fundamental problem... One of a Western value is nation states and, and border security as well as private property. And individuals, whether they're from Latin America or Muslim countries, by coming in illegally, so we're dealing with that issue first, uh, they're violating our sovereignty and they're undermining it by being here. Now, if we're talking about legal immigration, right, right, yeah. okay, so I'm giving you my views. Um, I'm extremely concerned about bringing in Muslims, uh, refugees specifically, because they cannot be vetted well. They have not been vetted well. They have the children of refugees who've committed serious crimes. We're seeing an unprecedented number of refugees and their extended families who become extremely dependent. Like 90% are unemployable. Um, that's a re unemployable, not even like low skill labor. So that's a real issue. It depends on what you're getting out of Latin America versus what you're getting out of the Middle East. That's based on clear, you know, religious principles or cult like principles, if you will, and also economic and, and that, that, determinants. That's, that's my more condensed question, if you will. It's that the people who are, because uh, you're a smart guy, you've been around the block, you, you do this so much, um, you've okay. been around for a long time. Uh, I'm sure you've heard about the, the birth rate that's required for a culture to um, yes. sustain itself and to grow okay. in, in a nation. So if you look at declining birth rates of predominantly secular cultures in Europe and eventually in, in the United States, um, wouldn't it help, wouldn't those numbers be helped with Latin American immigration coming in with traditionalist Catholic or Christian values oh, sure. versus, I mean, okay. versus the Islamic immigration? Well, if you're talking about replenishment rates, certainly. Uh, that, that's what I'm curious about. So, so adjusting, the, uh, adjusting the threshold for legal immigration to be able to bring in more people that have more compatible values with the West than people from the Middle East. That makes sense, I guess, from that argument, if we're trying to ensure that there's a proper population. Because I, 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 but the I, problem see, is I see a big difference, personally, as a voter, as an American citizen, I see a big difference with an immigrant, that, uh, no matter where he or she is from, coming into the U.S. who loves America, who loves this country, wants to be an American, loves the Constitution and human rights and free, free markets yes. and freedom that we have in this country, versus people that come into this country with hatred for it and contempt for it. Yeah, and we don't want, want that, want, definitely. Want on the system and feel they're owed something. So I think that there is a difference between between those so, kinds of people coming. Absolutely, not as groups, but as individuals. Personally. Yeah, I, I, that's, that's how I feel. It's such a thorny question because of our foundation on religious liberty. But I think it comes down to if a religious faith dictates killing people or submitting them, if they, you know, killing people who don't agree and killing people who leave the faith, we've got a real problem. It's a clear violation. Of yeah, so but people from Latin American countries who are in line with respecting people's natural rights, even if religious differences exist, yeah, we are in a better place. But I think, uh, yes, but fundamentally it's who poses a threat and who doesn't. Uh, in predominantly Muslim countries, you have individuals who 
have a track record or connections to terrorism versus in Latin American countries. I don't see a lot of Guatemalans blowing themselves up in crowds. And, and to be to be fair, you know, I have I have some, some great friends that are Muslims that are that are sure. that are foreign students that came into this country legally. They're studying, and, and those are people who I would I would very gladly you know sponsor a citizenship one day because they love America. They love this country. They okay. love human rights. And yeah, that's a good point. You know, I do have a friend of mine though. There is something about taqiyya in Islam which allows Muslims to lie. And that's a deep concern to others who've shared with me why they don't want Muslims at all and why there is a fundamental distrust for Muslims coming from other countries because that's an article of the faith, deception. It's listed in many ways throughout the Quran and throughout the Hadith and the Sunnah that deception is acceptable. Well, I mean, I... Let That's me just, let, I mean, but, but Arthur, let, let me just say that in politics, you know, uh, lies are all over the place. I have people who lie. I oh, see them true. in all shapes and sizes and colors so, and creeds like you wouldn't okay. believe. In what, politics, so, it's a business of lies. Well, that's true, but there's the... You know the, what I mean? It's just like, all well, I'm saying is it's lies, saying that lies are exclusive to Islam with a certain... Islamic I've never agenda. said that, but I have said that people who are, it's a, it's a religion that also dictates killing infidels. There's the lands of, there's the house of... Islam and the house of war. And that is that is the faith, articles of faith. It's in there. All in all, it is controversial real estate. It is. And uh, I think Europe better wake up and stop being politically correct. So that's my th- thoughts on it. But it depends one of Pen's greatest moments. France will be led by a woman. Yeah. Near Miss Merkel. That uh, was, oh, that's true. That was a, so a woman's cool. in charge that of that more, city. That was the most savage moment in the entire you know, was, Yep. And so I got to ask, why do you... Because you, you were born in Europe, or...? No, I was born here. You were born here, but you were States. raised in I'm Belgium? From, I'm a first-generation American. My dad's from Belgium. My mom's from Colombia. Uh-huh. Okay. They both did everything they had to do to come here legally to become Good. Americans, become citizens. Right. Um, so I'm very grateful and very proud of that. So I, even though I, I, I do have roots that I'm very grateful for and proud of, I'm first and foremost proud to be an American. I love my country. Wonderful. I love my constitution. I got to ask, so how do your parents feel about this large group of people that wants to have amnesty right away? Well, my parents are liberal, and I was raised very liberal. Oh, so they're okay with it? Um, I haven't asked them lately. We try not to talk about politics. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? Wow. I mean, but they're thinking, where do we go wrong? They saw the Trump hats, and they thought, oh, yeah. So, oh, I didn't it, know about it this. It was the meme. It was the meme. I couldn't help it. Oh, wow. I saw too many memes, and I just... It, That's it. And those frogs. The frogs I mean, are... It's, it's not just all kinds of wildlife in the media. So yes. They, they add so much. Absolutely. And, and with the Demo- the Democrats, they worship the animals and they eat people. And the with conservatives, they worship right, God right, and they right, eat right, right. animals. An endangered egg. Oh, you can't touch that. Yeah. But a kid, oh. Like, it's so oh, Jody, what did you do? Oh, oh man, I try to, I try oh, to speak they, to... I hope you get better soon. I, I, okay. I try to speak to those leftist social justice warriors. Who knows if they have ties with Soros. And